bad wolf thing. It is wrong, wrong, wrong. The real story, the real story has to do with a, like a, a, a sneeze, right? A sneeze and a cup of sugar. For the first time, you're going to hear the real story. You're going to hear the truth. It all started way back. And once upon a time, time, I was baking a birthday cake for my dear old grandma, right? I had this terrible cold, right? I'm coughing and hacking and sneezing, don't ask. Anyway, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm baking this cake, right? And I runs out of sugar. You cannot bake a cake without sugar. You can make like, I don't know, stew, something like that maybe, right? But you can't bake a cake, right? So I get all bundled up. I put on my boots, I put on two pair of pants, three or four shirts, five or six coats, 89 scarves, just the one hat. I do want to look stupid, right? <laughs> and I head out the house. I'm going down the street. I figure I'll ask a neighbor for a cup of sugar. The first neighbor I come to, it turns out he's a pig. <laughs> he's not too smart either. He built his house out of straw. A straw house? Who in their right mind is going to build a house out of straw? Okay? So the minute I knocked on the door, naturally, I knock, 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 boom, the door falls right down. It's made out of straw, right? I didn't want to walk in unannounced, right? You walk into somebody's house unannounced, you know, they're sitting there reading the paper, ah, like that, you know? You could scare them to death like that, right? So I yells out, Mr. Pig, Mr. Pig, are you in there? No answer. I yells again, Mr. Pig, are you in there? No answer. I'm just about to leave when I feel it. A sneeze coming on, right? <laughs> this is going to be a doozy, you know? I mean, like, stand back. Watch out, everybody, right? Okay, I huff, I puff, and I see, ah! <laughs> when I opened my eyes, I couldn't believe what happened. The whole darn house fell down. <laughs> it fell down. Naturally, it fell down. It's made out of straw, right? Oh, no. There in that pile of straw is that poor little pig. That is a doornail. If he was only polite, right? If he had only answered me when I called out his name, if he just showed me a little courtesy, that never would have happened. So I'm just about to leave, right? And I think, you know, it seems like a shame to leave a perfectly good hand in a lion there in the cell like that, right? <laughs> right? So, I ate it up. <laughs> hey, don't look at me like that. Let's not forget the cheeseburger, okay? Make his grandma a birthday cake, forget about it. That's not going to sell any newspapers, so the news media jazzed it up. <laughs> now you know the real story. I was framed. <laughs> That's the real story. And by the way, could anyone here lend me a cup of sugar? If not, I'll say, ah, good night. Thank you.